Hello there, welcome to your latest updates from the Met Office. Do brace yourselves for a chill in the air over this coming week. The UK is now well and truly in the grips of this cold plunge of Arctic air that has moved its way in from the north and will be covering all four nations by the time we end Sunday night. It's helping to actually clear out some of the cloud across areas of Wales, central southern England, and skies will be clearing quite widely across the board as we head throughout the night, allowing temperatures to plummet and a widespread frost to develop. Even in some towns and cities, temperatures could be as low as minus two or minus three degrees Celsius. With those frozen surfaces and the showers pushing their way in from the north as well, there could be some icy stretches to start off Monday morning, particularly for Northern Ireland and northern Scotland so do just take care here when you are stepping outside in the morning but many of us may need the ice scrapers for our windscreens to start off the new working week. If it's snow you're after though you'll need to be in one of the regions that's exposed to this northerly wind flow so northern Scotland seeing some quite frequent snow showers are scattering for northern Ireland as well maybe some sleet showers for parts of west Wales down into southwest England and some snow showers just skirting eastern coast of Yorkshire down into Norfolk as well but for many inland areas it will be a dry day with plentiful amounts of crisp winter sunshine Despite that sunshine though, it is still going to be very cold. Temperatures only rising to around 1 or 2 degrees Celsius for most of us. And it is actually going to feel even colder than that. If I turn on the feels like temperatures, you can see widely sub-freezing, particularly along those eastern coastal districts where we're exposed to that brisk northerly wind that's pushing down through the North Sea. So where you are stepping outside here, it is going to feel very bitter when you are out and about. The frost will return very quickly as the sun does go down tomorrow night. So another very chilly night to come throughout Monday and into the start of Tuesday. There could be a slight change in wind direction into the early hours of Tuesday with a bit more of a northwesterly and that could start to feed some more showers into inland areas of northwest England and perhaps into Wales as well. So a few flurries here to start off the day, but quite widely again, Another widespread frost, temperatures as low as minus three, minus four in some towns and cities. Rural areas could be as low as minus five to minus eight degrees Celsius. So another very bitterly cold night to come. On Tuesday, with that shift to a northwesterly airflow, our attention is turning to this set of fronts that are wanting to move their way in from the northwest. As they move into the cold air ahead of it, they could see some snowfall on them throughout the day. There is still some uncertainty in regards to the exact track of this system, so it's worth staying up to date with the forecast, but certainly for areas of Scotland, some snow to lower levels in the north over higher ground in the south. Snow districts for parts of the Pennines as well. For Northern Ireland, it could be some snow over the higher grounds, but maybe a little bit more of a sleet rain mixture to lower levels as well. Again, for parts of northwest England and into Wales later on in the day as well, maybe some snow over the highest ground, but more likely to be sleet and snow over lower levels. Temperatures on Tuesday, actually with some of that cloud around, could be slightly higher for some of us compared to Monday, but it's still going to be feeling very cold across the board. Generally drier further towards the south, a bit of sunshine around there at times, but quite hazy skies further towards the south with some cirrostrata starting to push its way in. That is all due to an area of low pressure that's moving its way into the Atlantic and slowly drifting its way up to the Bay of Biscay. We have kept our eyes on this because as it does move its way into the cold air ahead of it, again, on the northern flank of this, there is the potential for some further snowfall. And depending on exactly how north it does track, we might see a little bit of it into the far south of England. However, most computer models are now taking this area of low pressure more into France. And so the most likely scenario for late Tuesday and into Wednesday is for the low pressure to push itself into continental Europe and most of the snow to also follow suit into areas of France as well, with very little snow actually making its way into the far south of England. A minority of computer models do still have that area of low pressure slightly further to the north. So there is about 25% chance that the low pressure is ever so slightly north and allows that snow to just move its way into southern districts of the UK. But as I said, the most likely scenario at this stage is for the low pressure system to move its way further south in southern England to not see that much snowfall at all. Still certainly one that we'll keep our eyes on for you and do stay up to date with the forecast for all the latest over the next few days. 
wherever this low pressure center is slightly further north, slightly further south, we are still going to see that cold air rushing its way in from the north, northwest, and there will still be snow showers pushing into northern districts as well. So on Wednesday and Thursday, there is still a yellow snow warning in force for north and western areas from Scotland, parts of Northern Ireland, and into northwest England and Wales as well. So again, there is still the potential for some disruption in some locations, some localized issues around at times due to that continuing feed of snow showers moving its way in, even if the far south of England doesn't actually see any snowfall. We will, of course, keep all the warnings up to date over the next few days, so make sure you are staying in tune to all that. We'll have plenty of updates across our social media channels, and there will be plenty on the YouTube channel as well, so make sure you are subscribing, and we'll see you again here very soon. Bye-bye.